Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you how I actually put the tabs together in my new Christmas planner. So if you haven't seen the video I put out before this one, I actually did like a flip through and showed you everything that I had in there, all my tabs and all the inserts that I have in there. And then I talked about doing a video so that you could see how I actually built my tabs. So that's what I'm going to share with you here today. And I went with a very vintage theme. All of these images that you see on printer paper, I just Googled uh, vintage Christmas and then printed it out or put it, I copied and pasted it to Word and then I printed it out. So what I'm doing now is I'm finding the scrapbook pieces of paper that I want for my tab. And as you can see, I'm using the tab that actually came with my planner. My planner is from Doki Book. I'll link that website down below. And it's basically a dupe to the Kiki K. So I'm using the tab dividers that came with my Doki Book as a measuring tool, but it's an A5 size, by the way. And so this is how this was the easiest way for me to personally cut it down the way that you see here on the screen. Um, I didn't actually want to cut out the little like tab indicators on the side. I just didn't really want that in my planner. So once I had one side cut, this was how I did the other side because I do want my tabs to have, you know, decor on both sides when you flip it. So once I had the first scrapbook paper cut out, then I would glue it to the set to the back of the other one, like you see here and then I would cut it out. That way I knew that they were both gonna be the exact same size. So, and that's it. And then I would go back in with a little glue stick and re-glue in the edges just to make it, you know, make sure that it was gonna stick together. And this scrapbook paper, like booklet that I got was from Hobby Lobby, by the way, and it's very thick and sturdy, so I didn't even have to laminate my uh, tabs. So now I am using that divider again to use as a punch hole guide. Otherwise, they do sell A5 punch holes. So I think I'm going to definitely buy one for myself and invest because I am digging my A5 planner. So now what I really want to do is I want to put my image on top of other scrap of pieces of paper. And what you see here are Christmas wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use that a little later on, but not right here. So what I want to do again is I want to layer as much scrapbook on top of scrapbook because it's honestly what gave this such a dimensional beautiful look so i have all of these different little booklets here i got all of them from hobby lobby and i'm just going through them trying to find the scrapbook pieces of paper that i felt went really well with the image and the images also kind of mean something especially this one because it says the bakery so this is actually going to be my holiday baking tab and that tab i will list you know all of the baking i want to do and all the ingredients i need to do it with and things like that so this tape right here is actually a foam tape and it's so Oh my God, it's the best tape ever. It's so fun because it makes your images pop and it gives it like an extra dimension to your tab. So go pick up some of this tape. You can find it at any craft store, Walmart, things like that. It's like a little foamy tape and I love that stuff. So I used it a lot throughout my tabs. And as you can see here, I layered the, the picture on top of two different scrapbook pieces of paper and then applied that to the actual tab. At least that's what I'm calling it, tab, whatever. And now I'm going to use some sticker letters. This is what I had on hand, and I'm going to spell out holiday baking. And I got these sticker letters from Hobby Lobby as well. So once that side was done, I'm going to work on the other side, which once you flip it over, it would be the inside tab. So definitely think about which tab you want to be maybe more decorative than the other. I mean, they can be equal or the inside tab can just be plain scrapbook paper like the polka dots. But not me. I want to keep adding because less is not more in this situation. So I'm adding this beautiful piece of scrapbook. It has wreaths on it. And I thought that it went perfectly with this image that you see over here. She's so cute knocking on the door love it and basically I just add it to my polka dots with some glue and then I use my scissors or my cutting tool to trim it down and for this one I didn't want to put her on top of any other scrapbook piece of paper so I just glued her like that 
And eventually I do go back and add a strip of washi. So if you go through my pictures and you watch my other video, you'll see that I had a strip of washi right there that broke up the red polka dot and the wreath image. Um, but that's how I do things. I don't always nail it the first time. Sometimes I go back and add a little bit more. So don't be afraid. I When I first try to attempt this, I will tell you I did not know where to start. So if you get that way and you, you're overwhelmed, just one thing at a time and just focus on one tab at a time. Um, so yeah, so once I'm done with that, it goes into my planner and I work on my next tab. And as you can see here, I'm basically repeating the same process. The very first scrap of paper, I'm gonna cut out using my tab divider as a guide. And then once that's cut out, I will glue it to the back of the other scrap of paper that would essentially be on the inside once you flipped that tab over. I hope I'm making sense. Sometimes when I'm talking on this voiceover, I really don't know if I'm making sense. Here we go. I'm using Dollar Tree wrapping paper. I'm basically just going to cut out a big enough piece so that I know, you know, it's not going to be too short. And then I take my glue stick and then apply it to my wrapping paper and then I trim it down with my scissors. Because it was wrapping paper, I was really inspired by it. I wanted it to actually look like a wrapped present. So I'm using real ribbon here. Like this is ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm basically just trimming it. And all you really need to do is apply a little bit of glue stick to it. And it sticks just fine. You just have to be really careful because it takes a little minute for it to dry and kind of grab on. So you want to be careful if you want to get like your ribbon really, really straight. So you do have to kind of like play with it a little bit. And then I just apply it like I'm just making it look like a little wrapped present box. And then I trim off the ends. And then I'm also going to add a bow to the center, which I really love. So I've I've had all this stuff on hand, um, but you don't have to do all this, but they do sell all kinds of good stuff at the Dollar Tree for this. Again, that wrapping paper is from the Dollar Tree, so don't just limit yourself to scrapbook pieces of paper. You can use wrapping paper as well to make all of your tab dividers, but they are gonna be thinner, so wrapping paper is very thin, so you wanna take that into consideration, so you may have to use a laminator if you are gonna go that route. So, and there's my bow. I basically use a Dollar Tree glue dot, which is my favorite crafting thing, like from Dollar Tree ever. These glue dots are amazing. And I just put it in the center of the green cross and I apply my red bow to it and it sticks really well. But I'll tell you, so I learned a big lesson with this tab right here. I decorated this side before I decorated the front side. What I mean is when I was done with this, tab right here when I flipped it over it was puffy because that bow made it stick up so it was really hard to work on that kind of a surface so that was my mistake but you know I'm creating and I never know what I'm going to end up creating so that's just what happened so now see it's plain and now I got to work off of a non-flat surface so these little stickers are from Tuesday morning and basically I'm just gonna layer them on top of more scrapbook paper and yes this Santa is so cute he's also in the same scrapbook booklet as the other scrapbook pieces of paper that you see from Hobby Lobby Now I did make a list of what all of my tabs were gonna be and what content were gonna be in my tabs like holiday baking, gift lift, order, gift lift, gift lists, order tracking. And this one was my own personal Christmas wish. So I put the words wish on it and that way I knew this was my Christmas wish tab and I'm gonna write a letter to Santa myself on what I would like to have this year. 
So now we're going to start on a new tab and I'm basically going to repeat the entire process just like you've seen me do, nothing new. I'm going to find my vintage images that I love the most. In this case, it's this cute little snowflake girl and I was so inspired by all the snow and snowflakes in her images that I wanted to make a little snowflake theme. And this tab is my list tab and I'm calling it list, but basically it's like a to do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put on some music and enjoy. Enjoy. 